Hello you fine looking individuals and welcome to another Pokey Boogie video. Today we're going to get into finding epic weapons, possibly end game weapons, to support your Bravely Default 2 experiences with that broken class Beastmaster and other classes. Before we get into the rest of the video, please hit the like and subscribe button and comment down below. It really helps with the video and the channel and helps me deliver to you more content. I just want to say a huge thank you to all those who watch the video. I'm glad that you guys are interacting and, and sharing strategies. There's a lot of JP farming strategies you guys sent me, like send stuff in the, high, the Halcyonia area and just funnel everyone to the beach or a lot of farming incidences in the desert area where you can just kind of collect them all together. Seriously, these are really good tips. I'm glad you guys are helping out the community. That's so awesome. The information in this video comes from one commenter in particular, David Dickerson, and he has a really good strategy on how to get the best weapons in the game. Let's get into it. First, off I unlocked the class of Dragoon so I'm really happy with that. But Dragoons typically use spears. It's even Icon is a spear. So we need to find a really good spear. I know just the place. But before we get into that we need to use a thief class. Let me explain why. When using the thief class you get certain abilities such as Magpie roughly 25% chance of acquiring rare items when stealing and the very last ability Rob Blind. When stealing, two items can be acquired at once. If you're able to get some items by stealing, you can double your rewards. Pretty nice. The thief's special ability, you know, get, or, you, know you press it and then like your character glows and attacks the enemy and then you get your entire party gets buffs. Their special ability has a strike a single enemy with a powerful physical attack that is guaranteed to steal an item. So if you mix that with raw blind, when stealing two items can be acquired at once, you get two items, guaranteed. And if you mix Magpie on top of that, roughly 25% chance of acquiring rare items when stealing, you're gonna steal two rare items if you're lucky. Why am I mentioning this? Let me show you. We're here in Halcyonia. We're gonna go ahead and go over to an area to farm an item. You might notice this kind of waving, blooming tree that's in front of us. This is one of those overworld bosses that are really hard to beat once we're here we're gonna try to farm a way to get our specials everyone in my party right now is a thief so we're going to farm other monsters to try to get thief so what you can do is just steal and just have one person default all the time just steal 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 because that doesn't cost you anything you steal 13 times and you then you get your special for instance for elvis i have to use thievery 11 times so brave 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 steal 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 Uh, I need to use it 12 times. He needs it 13 times. And keep doing this until you get your special attained. Or until your tag along character kills everything. Now I farm my special ability. Now three of my characters are able to use their specials, which is Shakedown. Strike a single enemy with a powerful physical attack that is guaranteed to steal an item. And we're gonna mix that with Magpie, which is roughly 25% chance of acquiring rare items and stealing. On top of that, we're gonna put Rob Blind. When stealing, two items can be acquired at once. Put on Spearhead, that comes from Beastmaster, because I don't wanna be attacked by this boss. User will act first in battle when a spear is equipped, unless the enemy has the advantage. So you just want to make sure you have the advantage and you will attack first with a special that's going to steal an item. I'm not sure if this does anything, but I'm going to add Night Shift, which is a non-roulette abilities with the chance of triggering extra effects are more likely to do so at night. I am not certain if that, if that involves stealing or, or more likely to steal, but well, why not? I have an extra slot. Let's just put it in there. So again, I have Thief. Everyone has a spear with a spearhead. And we're going to go ahead and try to steal rare items. Let's see what happens. Whoop! Before we do, options. Save. Because if you don't get the items you want, you can at least go back to your save file and then try again. All right, let's hunt this thing. Okay, throwing stick. Awesome. So as you see, I'm striking first. I go Shakedown. I go ahead and go over to this Trent character. And do shakedown. See what's gonna happen. Two stink blossoms. Not exactly what we wanted. Elvis has a special. I love Elvis's music. Okay, two stink blossoms. Again, not what we're looking for. Let's go, Gloria. What you got? Okay, so we got six stink blossoms. Not the best stuff we want again we want rare items so we didn't get what we needed to so what we're gonna do minus button title screen go back to that save file load game and we're gonna try again oh there it is i got two of those items oh i got two more Ooh. better luck next time gloria but that's fine okay i got i got four of that special item 
Let's go ahead and check out our loot. If you noticed, I didn't complete the battle. I just ran away. I just stole rare items and then just booked it. As you can see, I have six of them already. It is Rongomiant. Rongomiant. It's the spear Rongomiant. It is a legendary spear used by the mighty king of myth to strike down traitors. Oh my goodness. So its weight is 35. Why does that matter? Let's go up one to one of my other spears. Weight is 21 and then 18 and then 19. So it seems around they're around the same 12, 17. And then it's like just jumps. Boom. 35. Whoa, these weapons are heavy. They might be the only thing you can even equip. But look at the attack power. The physical attack is 130. If I go up, it's 85. Then you go 71. See how it increments 65, 71, 85, 130. Then chance to crit, you can see chance to crit is five, five, six, nine. It just, it's, these weapons are just simply amazing. And again, they're really heavy, but I want spears because I want to use the Dragoon class. So we have spears. It looks like maybe one of the best spears in the game. Make sure that you have Thievery Mastered. The abilities you want to equip are Magpie, roughly 25% chance of acquiring raw items when stealing. Raw Blind, when stealing, two items can be acquired at once. I think Spearhead is a really good ability to use here. The user will act first in battle when a spear is equipped, unless the enemy has the advantage. So make sure you're striking and you have a spear equipped. Then you get to move first, so you don't have to get demolished by these overworld bosses. Any of their moves, they're strong. And I personally uh, just have Night Shift. I don't know if it helps, but it, I don't know. I think it, I think it may, I have no idea. But if you know, please comment down below. And Night Shift comes from Gambler. And also part of the setup, the probably the most important part, is that you have to make sure that you get the Shakedown special ready. So you wanna make sure for those characters that can use specials, that they can use shakedown which means you have to use a thievery move up to 13 times you can just use steel steel doesn't cost you anything just mass brave steel mass brave steel just that's it so i need to do do 13 times and then you get your ability to do shakedown guaranteed to steal an item and the best part once you get your item like rongomiant you can just book it you can just not fight. You just got the best item you needed and just leave. It's awesome. So now you can walk into fights and just demolish people with these new weapons you just found. Granted, you may need to unequip everything to use these things. These are very powerful weapons. Thank you for watching another Pokey Boogie video where we help you how to get really rare items and to not fear those overworld bosses. If you have any more strategies on how to exploit this game, just comment down below. I want to know. The world needs to know how to beat Bravely Default 2 in the most broken way possible. And if you want to know a class that can awesomely use the spear we just got, check out this video over here. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.